Welcome to Rants of a Niger Chick. It is the final episode of The Real Housewives of Lagos, episode 12. So let's get into it. First of all, I'd like to apologize that I am in even more of a mess than usual. If you've watched Vlogmas 12, was I today's vlog 12? No, 13. If you've watched um, Vlogmas 13, you'll understand why, like, my hair is a mess, everything is a mess. But let's get right into this episode because we have to trash this out fast, fast, fast and wait for a reunion. All right, so last episode ended where Laura and Iyabo was fight were fighting. So that's where it opened up. They're still fighting this time around. I think that push, did they really show us that push? I think she was just getting up to go to Laura and then somehow, somehow ended up pushing Chioma who fell flat on the ground. Anyway, she's still talking. This like, Laura, you are a bitch. You are two faced. Da, da, da. I think in the in middle of her trying to still, I don't know if she wanted to beat Laura or something or slap her so that everybody would know she's here. But someone, I think Miriam, or who told her that Laura is pregnant. So she knew it at a certain point, even though they were still talking, you know. Anyways, after exchanging work for a while, Chioma, I think, and some other person calmed them down. So they continued to have the conversation. So Faith further tried to explain her relationship with Laura. She said they've been chatting online for a very long time. Laura supports her business, but they actually physically met as of when they were filming last year. I'm going to assume that was 2022, that that's the first time they met. That is just like her and Prissy. The first time she met Prissy was on the show, which we had seen but that Prissy had been supporting that she can spot her collection she now looks ever like that chain you're wearing that's a faith more collection he ever was like you know she, I guess she was very surprised to be caught in something that faith has done so she said yeah that's a faith more collection but that she supports she, she supports and actually pays for what she buys so after a while Iyabo kind of got up and left she said she was too pissed off so she went to like the hammock to calm down outside and they kept talking so they were still kind of talking laura was like to chioma i've said what was on my mind that she feels better you know just wrapped it up chioma tanya mariam went out to the hammock to stay with Iyabo. Iyabo was still charging miriam you should not have told me she was pregnant she would call it that i'm like in the confessional miriam is like if you had hit a pregnant woman or anything you cannot come back from that and I'm, I'm wondering, what does she think? Okay, so they didn't tell... Is it not better that they told you and you avoided, you avoided whatever could have happened? I don't know what could have happened. Laura and Faith went up to the room. Laura was also talking. She's a B-word. She's this. She's that. When they went up, she was like, she's condescending. That she doesn't like her. And Laura was now like, every time, she's always saying how she'll fight. I've actually never seen her fight. I want to see her fight. She'll say, we'll break... Let her break the bottle. That if they leave her... <laughs> <laughs> that next year, if they are still here next year, they and she's not pregnant, they should leave her and uh, Yabo inside the room. Let somebody come out. That <laughs> Laura is of the opinion that she would beat Yabo. I don't know. I don't know between the two of them who would beat each other. Like we shouldn't even be wondering about that. <laughs> uh, Faith in the confessional also said that Yabo is a bully. Okay. Anyways, anybody now moved to the poolside. The of course the four people that <laughs> Mariam is now part of the fold again. She they went to the poolside first. Everybody was looking good. I don't know what Mariam was saying when she was Mariam, like I love self-confidence, but Mariam's self-confidence is bordering on something else. In the confessional, she was just saying when she was walking out, she was just saying I look good. Um, let me not let it not come from my mouth. Let me let me resolve my comments. Mm -hmm. Everybody looked good and went to the jacuzzi um faith and laura came out last laura was like she's not entering the water faith was you know she's entering the water shortly after faith i don't know i don't think it was because of them but shortly after faith entered the jacuzzi and i think um laura put her legs in yabo first of all went out to the pool and then the other ones one by one followed it was so funny they just looked at them just like, kind of like across and was like why are people going because i'm here and they were trying to say it's not here and then tanya was saying something first just like mm, shut up tanya was like me yeah anyways i don't think they left because of them personally i don't think they left because of them when faith and laura stood up to go back to the room they actually tried to explain to them that they didn't leave because of them that it was warmer there i think it was colder in the jacuzzi side and you know it's like laura should dip her leg inside laura tried to but eventually she still left with them then Romel arrives and was looking around and the confession is like this ladies look sad like they're not having fun are you the fun master? 
anyway he entered the pool with them and you know they started frolicking and all that next day came and they're off to breakfast Chioma went there tanya then laura came laura you know, laura greeted all of them very well and then she starts talking she says to yeah boy say bully Chioma was like i don't see her that way laura is like she's your friend you're not going to see her in that light but she's a bully and she had said in her confessional also that she feels the yabo has two sides the very very nice side motherly side and then the bully side uh, miriam then came iyabo came greeted everybody and you know you see between laura and they were just at the point laura now said hi to her she said hi but everybody like yeah i'm like uh, cordiality you know whatever and then faith walks in oh why is faith always the last even though i like the fact that she's always the last she walked in and then romel came in last laura and the confession is like i didn't know romel was here i don't know how true that is but I don't know why that guy is in the circle. I don't know. But okay. Then Chioma called Tonya. So Tonya is not there because of her surgery. You know, to everybody was just panning the phone to everybody, just checking in and kind of making her still feel a part of the group. And then they start talking about Bromel and Faith, mainly Chioma and Tanya. They are trying to get to the bottom of the matter, aka they're looking for the tea. And they're trying to get it into a situation where Faith and Romel actually speak about what is going on between them. So Tanya says, um, Miss Faith, after Shoma talked, Tanya is down talking and wanted to actually address Faith. You know all this one, now trust Faith, my girl. I have a phone in my hand. Faith is very, very, that I need to learn from that girl, honestly. So it's like, um, she called her Miss Faith and, you know, she turned and said, oh, you're listening. I didn't think you were listening. Faith is like, I'm not deaf. She said, hey, because you were ignoring me last night. Mm. Tanya is like, if you want to speak you speak so she went ahead and you know said what she had to say um try to say what uh, faith had told her at you know her this thing at zaza and then to every other thing she has heard after then faith in response was like i invited him to Chioma's event Roma was like not true uh, is it there yeah then production played it back the invite i don't know how he could sit down there and said not true when you were trying to talk about these ladies and a faith told you no go and meet them you meet them and i think chioma that's exactly what she said i think chioma is having an event you meet them there and then he sat down there and said not true i'm like is it that you people are doing this thing for the drama or you actually do not remember because sometimes i act I agree something can happen and you forget but it's not adding up anyway faith started talking his own said the whole thing about how they met said the whole thing you say faith my friend won't do that do you even know me he said do you know where i live in Eloke? do you know where i live in lakey do you know my son do you know my brother's name that we're not that close for you to form all this and in what faith had told tanya that he had said about the girls she didn't really touch on that i think her reasoning was she had a reason which i can't really remember right now but she didn't really touch on that anyways it came time for romel to respond first of all he started in the Faith is, I want you people to know something. Faith is a pathological liar. And started washing down first and then started respond. He didn't even respond to some of the things she said. Like the screenshots they showed when you people started talking, he didn't respond to that. He just started saying what Faith had, according to him, said about the ladies. And it was a lot. Talked about the intelligence thing with Chioma that it came back it came from her talked about the fact that she talked about Chama being a lawyer they played back and we heard how the thing came from him now i acknowledge that there may be certain things were said off camera or things didn't make it eating but if romel could sit down there and said that faith is not the one who invited her to Chama's event that faith is not the one who introduced her to the ladies when we all saw that happen then i will not take anything he said happened off camera or anything that was caught in the editing room i will not take it and the way he laid it out okay with as regards to yabo this man had the goal to say that when they were talking about yabo that faith was like and she's the one i'm going to target you have to know who is who you have we have to target her so that maybe i can get a man like hers and um robert is like i i, I didn't even know who your fiance or your husband was they're not even fiance or husband but okay i didn't even know who he was he said google he faith is the one who said google a man like him and i'm like i do not see faith saying that who I'm sorry, I like Polo and whatnot, but I don't think Faith will run after a man like Polo. Take a Polo, come on. No, it's not that. We, I'm not even going to 
let me not say it, it will not come from my mouth, but that's what she said. So you were the target. It's just when you did not work. She now had to go with Laura, who she called dusted and tossed away. I don't think fated anything about Laura, and this is why. At Laura's um shop opening, the guy with dreadlocks, if you saw the way Faith greeted him, you could see that they know themselves, there is a connection there. And that guy I know is their family friend, that is Laura, their family friend, that guy is always with Linda. So there is a connection there, why would she now come and say Laura is dusted? Romel now said that of Choma's event, that Faith had disinvited him, told him there was no event again. I'm like, oh, that she just showed up on his own, and when he showed up, um, she, Faith, now since um, he's there anyways, Faith only introduced him to Laura. He had to do the introduction. And here comes Tanya saying, yeah, because at that time, why the whole Tanya thing happened is because I just saw him as a stranger. I was wondering who is this person sitting in, in our midst. Again, production played back. I saw it. She introduced to Tony, uh, sorry, Laura, introduced to Tony and he said king of fashion. Introduced Mariam, walked up even that Tanya, walked up. I'm like, why is everybody having selective amnesia all of a sudden? Okay, well, now said that faith manipulates and tells, manipulates and tells a lie. So Chioma in the convention and now saying, I, I have no reason not to believe Romel. Everything he has said has been consistent. Yes, of course, it has been consistent. Somebody can consistently lie, but you don't even want to see faith's side. So nobody's going to change your mind on that. At least you're going to see things on the screen for what did make it to the, to the, to the show. Yeah, but now they said, hey, if we had listened to what was said, that's what, uh, what's her name, Faith, told Tanya at Zaza, we would not have been vibing with uh, a Romel, which would have been a bad thing. So they have concluded, right? <laughs> then Faith was to Tanya, the things that you said, I said, I didn't really give any details because I do not believe in that. Yet still, even at uh, yesterday when I said, because Yaba actually had gotten up to clear what she said yesterday when she said something about customers and paying, and she said when she came to her shop with Prissy and she picked something she had wanted to pay and you said, no, just tag me. Faith was like, I didn't mean it that you don't pay. That anything, you, the best you can do for a small business is to tag the small business, which is what I wanted. So I didn't mean to, it wasn't shady. And yet Tanya, Tanya was still the one who called because Yabo as at then when she heard it, she didn't really, you know, on, he didn't compute to her. Tanya is the one who went back to say, ah, that thing sounded sh shady. In the confessional face, it's like, a trauma that was sitting close to me did not see it as shady. The yabba that was there, and which is true, Tanya was the last person on the other hand. You are the one who went back and said, So now Faith is looking at Tanya and saying, You are very shady, you are like a green snake. <laughs> Just sit down there like the puppet of the group, always talking, talking behind. <laughs> In the confessional, in the confessional, Miriam is like, bullets, ah, bullets, that thank you. Because apparently Miriam also says, Stanya like a puppet. I don't see, I don't know that if she's a puppet necessarily. Her in the confessional, that Stanya, she was like, if the fact that she gets along with everybody means she's a puppet, then yes, she's a puppet. I don't think she's a puppet necessarily, but I will see how the other ladies will see her as a puppet, you know? I mean, her agreeing with everybody, you seem to always agree with one side. Do you get, even when Miriam was saying, the thing that happened you try not to remember that you actually had come in between them you know so um, it's a little bit shady but I, I don't say she's necessarily a puppet and for faith to even say that considering that when this season started faith was like i think people underestimate tanya they should not like she had nothing but nice things to say to this i really cannot wait to see her reunion because she had nothing nice it's only when things started you know that she now and even at that she didn't really say anything that was really really out of what was happening Okay, then Chioma now says, um, we've heard things now, we want to clarify. I think she wanted to clarify her own side because Romel had mentioned something about law school and faith. And she now, they started actually fighting, not really fighting, but trading words. And I'm like, okay, in the confessional, but in the confessional, Chioma entered faith. I was like, I wish she had said that in front of her. Not that faith would have done anything. I think faith is so used to being calm that she, you cannot beat that girl in the confessional channel was like you in the past in the present in the future you cannot get close to me they'll go and learn the when you decide what accent you want and learn your tenses and then and then you can i'm like okay girl okay okay if it were your friend you wouldn't say that because i don't see what kind of english that uh Yabo really speaks but it's okay i mean you have to clap back right and he said, um, they're calling Iyabo a bully. If, if somebody, God gave us mouth, 
if somebody talks to you, use your own also. But that's not what makes a bully talking. That's not what makes a bully the talking back. That's not you can talk back and somebody is still a bully. But let us act like we do not know, right? Shoma will act like that. Anyways, they shall talk, talk, talk back and forth at themselves, and then you know how they start writing things about them, and everybody started getting up, and you know that that was the finale. So they re so they didn't really come to a conclusion. Of course, Choma, Iabo, Tanya, Romel, Miriam left, and then Laura and Faith remained and left together. So we now know the group how fragmented it is. We have with this clique and we have the other clique, and that is where the you know episode ended. See, I don't know who is hosting a reunion. But I want pointed questions. And I know they do play clips for them. They should play clips for them. Because, and Faith will actually deserve an apology from some of the ladies. Because they have sucked up to Rommel and believed everything she, he has said. They, because they have sucked up to Rommel and believed everything he has. Now it makes me understand the whole he's coming for my man thing that they mistakenly put in the edit in some countries of last episode that people were saying uh, Chioma and Polo and uh, uh, Yabo were talking and they said something but they said she's coming for man, the faith is coming for them. That means it came from Rommel. Do you understand? Like Rommel more for... Aside from what Rommel even said on the, that made it on the show, I'm thinking that Rommel has been talking a lot of things and why? Of the two who are new there, Rommel and Faith, let, I'm, I'm not putting Tanya in because even though Tanya is new to the cast, she has actually been in the Nigerian scene before. Faith and Rommel are the two people who are moving in from um, outside the country. If there are any two I could call a social climber there, it is Rommel. Why would I say this? I was hearing Faith's name before. Like I heard Faith's name in even the show I used to hear of Faith Mori. The only, and I said this in episode one, the first time I came in contact with Rommel was from a sponsored post on Instagram that he posted that he went to the Grammys. That's all I knew of the man. So if there was anybody realistically, logically, looking, using our two eyes of the two that would want to target somebody and attach to somebody to try to grow, it will actually be Rommel. You are actually the social, social climber. You are the one who needs these ladies. If they do work, they could come to your clinic and all that. Yes. Uh, this person needs them for business, but like she said, she was chatting with people. Help me take them, take this tag, 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 tag. So I don't believe Rommel for one bit. The only way I can believe anything Rommel says if I say evidence, other than that, if they want me to believe from the mouth of a man who said, You didn't introduce me, you disinvited me, and she had a problem with you because you used her face on for adverts for your thing, your clinic, which she said, Do not. <laughs> no, no, no. I will not believe it. I'm not believing it. So reunion i want people to ask pointed questions whoever is moderating reunion i hope it's not a biased person i don't really want uti to come back for the reunion i feel i don't know why but i feel uti is biased will show do you get i feel it i don't know if it's biased but i just feel uti is the kind of person that if he's biased he will not ask questions the way he should ask questions. i want a very neutral person to come and be asking these ladies questions and let me hear let me get to the bottom of so many things because it has been a wild ride but yeah that will be it for me for today thank you for coming along with me on this real housewives of lagos joining and if you have enjoyed real housewives of lagos see yeah, real housewives of durban should be starting soon that's durban south africa and in all the franchises in africa i've watched kenya Durban. The only one I haven't watched is uh, Johannesburg. I've watched um, Abuja, of course, and Lagos. Durban is my favorite. So stick around with Ransom and Ajachi because when Durban comes, we are always going to be talking. Hi, Durban, they get drama. And the way they left it last season, this season will be hot, hot, hot. If you also want to catch up with that one, uh, it's on my page as well. But yeah, that will be it. We will see at the reunion, okay? We'll see me and you will see at the reunion all right make sure that you are subscribed make sure that if you're watching on facebook that you are following not just liking the page please check it right after now that you are following not just liking the page use the menu button the three dots confirm that you're following and make sure you're engaging comment like you know share let's just be a community here that's what i'm trying to build here okay a community of people who watch shows and talk about it as if we know what is happening <laughs> all right i will see you next time bye